Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Station Ears. Oh, I say hello. Welcome back to Mars. This is actually a different Mars. I'm just rebuilding my base because the old one just got really framey. Uh, uh, so I cleaned out all the crap and um, now our frame rates come back. Now, uh, this time we are having a look at our greenhouse because I have uh, expanded the greenhouse so we can start... Uh, adjusting our harveys to uh, work with the new um, the new farming seed thingies farming update that's the words I'm looking for uh, now my old code does work with the uh, uh, with with the plant still it'll it won't harvest seeds so it'll just harvest the food um, so it's it's partly still working oh, speaking of which you've got some seeds nice um now uh with the changes to the way it works it's actually made the harvey a bit easier to actually automate so um so that's pretty cool so we'll have a bit of a look at that and um uh, we shall well we'll automate it that's what we're trying to do automate harvey um now uh the way things work um uh uh uh, uh, uh you um, come here. And you. Okay, so now the way that the, the plants works, previously they would reach seeds, and you'd harvest the seeds, and then they'd reach, produce uh, food, which is then harvest and then replant. Um, it doesn't do that anymore. We now reach the state of food, and if you leave it longer, it will also produce seeds. And it will have both seeds and food there. So it's just a matter of then harvesting both of them. Um, so where you had to monitor the um, mature variable within the pots, uh, which we can look at with our, our slot reader. Uh, Shoot into there. Um, we can be gone. Uh, grab you. And a cutter. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, right, so from that one we can read from a uh, hydroponics device, doesn't matter which one. Uh, we shall read. The plant slot from there we can read um, occupied quantity seeding. We read whether it's not a seeding, uh, which just gives us a minus one. Minus one tells us that it is not seeding and it has not seeded yet. Once it gets to uh, seeding, that'll change to a one. Once you've harvested the seeds, that will go back to a zero. Once you've harvested all the food, it'll go back to a minus one. Um, so previously you had to monitor the seeds and pick them up and you had to monitor the food and then pick them up now you if you want seeds all you have to do is monitor the seeding so when it's minus one you don't harvest as soon as it is one or zero then you do harvest because uh, it'll go to one when it seeds you pick all of them then you have feed the seeds won't come back again so you can just keep keep harvesting until it goes back to minus one um, well, that then you've got to either replant, or if it's a perennial, just wait for it to uh, grow again. Uh, the other one is the um, uh, mature. That will tell you whether or not there is food there. So if you're just after food, not worried about the seeds, you can just look at the mature and wait till that changes to one, because it's currently zero because it's not mature. Mature as soon as there's food there, that'll change to one. So if you just want the food. All you have to do is monitor the mature variable. Simple enough. Um, now, uh, so that's the way they work now. It is, so you're not monitoring two variables there. So you can very simply automate your harveys, I mean, especially if you're just using perennials. So I've got tomatoes in here, which I have destabilized their growth speed. Um, do I get immediate returns on that, or do I have to wait for them to sprout? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll find out, I guess. Now, um, yeah, missed the door. Yep. 
Now, um, so automating them, especially with the perennials, is uh, makes it pretty much so easy that you can actually just do it with uh, logic chips. Um, Gross Peak, that's, uh, that's, no, you have to wait for the elf spring by the looks of it. Yeah, well, that's cool. Uh, uh, oh, hello, Grow Light. Now, so from these ones here, we can just automate them, as I say, just automate them using just uh, logic chips. So if you're not fond of using um, the IC10 code, you can still use your Harveys with your own circuits there just by using uh, them. So we shall identify these two so we know which one's which. Uh, here one, you can go to uh, two, Harvey one, and Harvey two. Right, now, um, if we want to automate them, we can't just sort of uh, have a look at the at the um, the variable there for mature, because when it changes to one, uh, it'll trigger it. But once it's harvested, it will stay at one. It won't trigger it again unless the value actually changes. So we have to do a bit of a circuit to uh, to get it to work. Uh, so uh, let's have a bit of a look. So we can do that by actually having a look at the um, the active state of Harvey. Uh, yeah, because um, that will change. Uh, I think I've got one of them out there. Uh, we have, um, oh sorry, activate. If we look at that one, when Harvey is operating, that will change. As soon as he stops, it will go change back to zero. So we can use that one as one of the triggers we use in our system there to make Harvey uh, operate at the right time. Uh, so we shall need a slot reader to read that, the uh, condition for mature. Um, I shall need uh, to put that away. I shall need to uh, compare that to something with a uh, logic compare. Um, you missed. Try again. Logic compare. There we go. Uh, I shall grab a memory, which is what we'll compare it to. Now, I shall also need to read the activate from the Harvey. So uh, it'll be the same sort of setup there. I shall need a a logic reader just a logic reader will do this one because it is it is there somewhere logic reader there we go um, you'll come to there you can go to there you can hook into there we should be good um, to need that I'll need to compare it to a value so logic compare again and we'll need the actual value to compare it to uh, so we can hook them up. Uh, so you shall need power. Uh, boop. You shall need uh, more cables. Uh, you shall need power. You shall need connected, you'll need to be connected, you'll need to be connected, uh, you'll need to be connected. Uh, that I think she'll do us. Uh, oh, there's more cables. Now, from there, we are reading the mature. So we just want to get the food out of this, this, this tomato here, if it ever grows. Um, now, so we shall read, we want to compare the input of that to our memory. So we want to set that to one because we want to find out when it is mature. So when it goes to one, so that's set to one. Uh, so we want to check you and you, the only one's connected. So it's easy to find. And we want to find out when they're equal. Uh, so that is zero, that is one. They are not equal, which is a zero. Correct. Now we want to read from the Harvey. We shall read in from Harvey one. I'm reading from the right one of them. No, let's try that one. Uh, the slot 
uh, plant slot and the mature. Right, now you're reading from hydroponics one. You're reading from Harvey one. So we're reading the variable which is the activate. Then it's zero. And now we want to find out when it is zero. So uh, once again, we're comparing it to zero. When that equals zero, we get a true. And it does equal zero. So we are getting a one coming out of that. Uh, now, we want to say that when the plant is mature, we get a one from that. And the compare unit, uh, when the Harvey is not doing anything, we get a one from that. Then we want to tell it to harvest. Uh, so we've actually got to combine them now. So we use a, another logic process. We have a, um, a logic gate. Now logic gates we can set to be uh, whatever we want. We've got to set to and. So you want to make wait till that and that are true, and then we can get a final answer. Um, so you need to get power to you, uh, which I can get to. Uh, uh, there. That's not the right one. Let's try that one. Uh, oop, you. We'll connect to there and you. Come out of there. So the outputs from our two compare units. Uh, so we want to go and, and we're just going to say with the screwdriver, uh, we compare one and the other one. Uh, they're the only ones connected, so it doesn't matter what they're called. Uh, and switch that on. Of course, we've got a one and a zero. They're not both the same, so it gives us a zero as the output. Uh, so when that is mature, Harvey's not doing anything, it should trigger a true value. And uh, once it harvests it, Harvey starts doing stuff, so that gives us a false. That one stays as a true. Once Harvey's finished, that turns back to a true, and that'll give us a switch back to a true here, which will give us another trigger that we can write back to Harvey. And so I do have one more left. And that's not the right one. Get rid of that one. So the output from that, I can then write back into the system uh, up here somewhere. Uh, that'll do us. Uh, right, so uh, uh, you, you'll need power and connection. That's the input which connects to the output of this one. Right, now we take that, we say the input is from the logic gate, that's the only one connected, so we have to get it right. Um, uh, that's a logic reader, you fool. Uh, let's try a logic writer. Uh, now, try again, coming in from the logic gate, it's the only one connected. The output will go to uh, Harvey1. Harvey one, uh, where are you? There you are. And we shall write to the harvest. Uh, it should currently be writing zero, so it should just do nothing. Now it's just a matter of uh, waiting. Hmm. And we have some grand plants. Uh, taken ages so I kind of switched it off there while it was going but we have three tomatoes no seeds so we're getting a true state from this uh, one here which is reading whether it's not mature mature which means it's got plants uh, food on it so it uh, is giving us a true on that one and of course the Harvey is Harvey busy uh, no he's not so we get a true from that one as well which when they combine them should be a true on that one and I do have still you set up to Go to a Harvey one harvest. So if I switch this on, Harvey should harvest. Here's a one. Then the two. We see this one changes to zero. 
Then back to one again when Harvey's not busy. Now this one should have changed to a zero, so it is not triggering anymore. So we've got our three tomatoes. It's going to wait, wait now until it has um, until it uh, gets more fruit on there. Cause now the uh, this, the uh, mature has gone back to zero, uh, which gives us a false on this one here, which is monitoring the mature. And um, of course, Harvey is not busy again, so we still get a true from that one. But the end gate says, says nope, not unless you got both of them on. Uh, right, so now we test the other one. We want to do seeding on the other one. So uh, let's just uh, switch all this off for the time being. Now we go to the hydroponics 2 and Harvey 2. So we want to get one that will do seeds. Um, so I shall need ye. We shall go from hydroponics device 2. We'll be reading from the plant slot and we shall be reading seeding. It's minus one because it hasn't reached seeding as yet. Um, now, we want to harvest seeds. When it gets to seeding, it'll be one. Once the seeds have been picked, it'll drop back to zero. So we want to harvest when it is either one or zero because the seeds won't come back. So we have to ha harvest the, uh, the fruit after we've harvested the seeds until it is uh, right back to a stage four growth. So we are going to want our seeding is minus one at the moment, so we want to harvest when we are greater than minus one. Uh, so if we put you down to minus one, we say, we're reading from the slot reader, we want to say when it is uh, greater than the logic memory, uh, which of course minus one is not greater than minus one, so we're getting a zero off that one there. Now this one we want to switch to Harvey 2, um, and it is activate. And the rest of that one is the same because we're just, once again, it's just another Harvey device. So that is giving us a one because Harvey is not busy. This one is giving us a zero because we don't have seeds. And once again, the logic gate is just an and between the two of them there. And our output is going to Harvey 2 and the harvest. Yet again, the same one again. So I can switch you on. It's giving me a zero. That's okay. Now I just got to wait for wait for this one to uh, reach some seeds, and um, it should start harvesting. Uh, once again, I'll just leave it switched off and um, go have me a cup of tea while it's um, while I'm waiting for that to get there. I think there is a server command where I can just grow plants, but um, I don't know what that is, so I'll have to wait. Uh, awesome, we have seeds. Now if we look at our uh, seeding run, it is turned to one, uh, which gives us a true from there. Harvey is not busy, which gives us a true from there. So if I switch this one on, it should go to Harvey 2. I do have this set up right. To Harvey 2, Hydroponics 2. If I switch this one on, it should start harvest the seeds. Well, there's the seeds, it should turn back to zero, which means it should keep harvesting. Over there, that will still be at zero. Another one, that will still be at zero, but the other one does toggle, which sets it go again, and that should now turn to minus one, which it has, and it now stops. Right, so there we go. So similar setups for both of them. One is just reading mature, the other is reading seeding, and um, they will allow Harvey to be automated with chips without having to go to the uh, uh, the old um, IC10 chips there. So if you're not comfortable with programming code, you can still use the Harveys just with um, with chips. Although I've used all those chips just to run one of them, so uh, you'll need to repeat all that again to run the other one. Um, I mean, you could rearrange them to make them all a bit more compact, but uh, yeah. That's what it takes for each one. I mean, you don't need a huge number of them there to keep your food going. I mean, if you're using it to do biomass, you might want to think of something a bit different. But um, yeah, and uh, yeah, that, they don't replant. So this setup is only good for um, using uh, perennials, uh, which is uh, the uh, tomatoes or the pumpkins. Uh, if you want to replant, you could probably do it, but um, that's going to take a whole heap more chips, and I can't be bothered doing that. So we shall just stick with them. Um, so, but to get a bit more out of it, we're going to have to go and program the chips. 
Uh, I have another lot set up over here to, to do all that. So we'll get on to programming them, um, but uh, no, no, not today. Uh, that'll do us for today. So that is uh, Harvey Automation via Logic Chips. So uh, that'll do us there. So until next time, happy building. See ya. And look at that, I did manage to get a 105% gross feed multiplier off a single generation of plants. So, cool.